Good morning and welcome everybody. This is Monica from Earthwise. And today I would like to share some thoughts of Siege Young. And I would like to introduce this book to you and highly recommend that you read this book. It's called Siege Young on Nature, Technology and Modern Life. And it's edited by Meredith Sabini, who took all his letters and essays and put it into a book with uh, it's such a precious pearl of wisdom and insights. And Sigi Young was writing a lot about the split in human society, in civilization, the Westerner, he called this neurotic, that neurosis that is found in the highly civilized, so-called high civilizations. This neurotic uh, pattern of behavior and destructive behaviors that are caused by the split from nature, the separation from nature, from spirit. And um, he was traveling in the 1920s and 30s. He traveled a lot uh, to America and he almost had a cultural shock when he saw already in the 1930s how far advanced America has developed already with technology, with machinery and this process. And he was really uh, very concerned about the development. And uh, I would like to read a little excerpt uh, from this book. And uh, I hope I can inspire you to do your own research. I was looking for answers why people are so split from their own nature and from their own intuition. And uh, I find some answers in this book to all the questions that I have. He's writing here, we in the West have come to be highly disciplined, organized and rational. On the other hand, having allowed our unconscious personality to be suppressed, we are excluded from understanding primitive man's civilization. The more successful we become in science and technology, the more diabolical are the uses to which we put our inventions and discoveries. And I think right now when we see the situation with the jab in the arm, the technology that they put into people's body with the goal to disconnect you from your true nature, from your soul, then we see where this is all going. And this is really diabolical because it's really meant to destroy life as we know it. And it's meant to cause real harm on our nature. And maybe we can have a look at some so-called primitive cultures. And I heard now that, for example, the Aborigines, they want to go after the Aborigines to get the jab, to force them or put them in two camps. And uh, the really wise and developed um, Aborigines, they go bush, as they call it. Because nobody with that Western understanding, with their high tech and all their uh, fancy um, technology, um, they cannot track anybody who doesn't have any device and knows the bushes, knows the paths and knows the dream path and knows the way of how to become invisible and also invincible. So all actually you need to do, get rid of your phone, get rid of all this technology and then you cannot be tracked. And what they do with the jab in the arm yesterday, I was listening to an amazing interview with uh, Robert Young and from Project Camelot, Kerry Cassidy interviewed Dr. Robert Young, who explains in detail uh, that technology and how it's damaging and harming your blood and um, what it's actually meant to be. Highly recommended. And uh, you can find it on Project Camelot. And uh, it's an amazing interview. And uh, I would just like to continue a little bit more from this here. The cloning of life forms, the development of nuclear and laser weaponry, 
the surgical alteration of genders and the genetic modification and irritation of food are some of the most recent diabolical discoveries we have come up with without adequate consideration of their moral or psychological repercussions. By focusing almost singularly on developments on the outer physical world, what we have neglected is ourselves, our own inner nature. So the path is within. We have to deconstruct all the false beliefs and we have to come to terms with some very uncomfortable truths and we have been light to all of our lives and this is a process that has been going on for a long time and uh, our work at earthwise is uh, bringing people back to the simple lifestyle back to nature back to simple things like growing your own food baking your own bread um, that we can start to work and create with our own creativity, with nature. The principles of fermentation is something very valuable. We're soon gonna make our own natto. I make my own sauerkraut, that whole fermentation process. And if you start to create things in, in a natural way, like our ancestors were, doing. I remember my grandmother, she, she was cooking, baking, she was busy all the time and she could provide with her knowledge and with her uh, service to the family, she could provide with all the food, making it through the winter with canned uh, vegetables and she was busy all day long. And we have to come back, we have to uh, come back to that old ancient knowledge our ancestors knew also how to survive how to make it through the war how to make it through difficult times and uh, the victory gardens are something very ancient something very old and uh, to know how to work with the soil so that we can nourish ourselves the mother nature that is always there for nourishment and also has all the natural medicines remedies that we need for our healing to discover that this is we are very passionate about that at earthwise if you want any more inspiration we have a lot of blog and uh, interesting information on our website www.earthwise.live if you want a consultation if you want some advice or some uh, yeah some guidance through this time we are here for your support please contact us and uh, we would love to hear from you i wish you an amazing day i hope that you make some time to connect to your true nature and sort out what is really essential for your life what's bringing you forward in a positive nourishing way and leave behind everything that's not nourishing anymore and one more time really this is an amazing book Sigi Young on nature technology and modern life and uh, i hope you're gonna get some something out of it that's gonna enrich your life my heart goes out to you. I wish you an amazing day. May you be inspired. May you be wealthy, prosperous, and come into your own true nature and uh, be compassionate with those who unfortunately took a different path. Bye-bye for now. Bye.